Hello guys, this is my um, Storm Story experience. I mean, last night on September 4th was a very interesting night. Um, where to begin? I mean, I was taking my wife and niece and nephew out there to, um, well, we were supposed to go to like the store and stuff, but we decided to go somewhere else. And then, well, when I was peeking in the window, I saw like a um, funnel cloud showing up. I mean, I, I got excited for us. Then when we got out there, there was a funnel coming in and um, we saw some like the storm clouds out there, like the storm was trying to war in. Then when I was leaving, while I was like waning and stuff like that, got out of Ames and um, well, we was in for a surprise. Um, going out of town was probably at least about maybe um, 10 miles or no, I'd say at least about eight miles, I'm assuming, away from Ames. And just looking at the supercell of the storm, um, you guys probably already seen, if you've seen my previous videos and showing the supercell on September 4th, that's the one. But it doesn't end there. I mean, there was just more. I mean, what we've seen. Um, huh? Nothing. But just how it was over there was intense. I mean, just wait when you hear about it later. Well, when we took the photos, I mean, I noticed the funnel was getting weak at the time. And with the storm itself, like the huge supercell was like from like wide inside Ames, wide inside like um, Nevada, Nevada, or what would they call it? Um, I guess the town Colo and maybe Ankeny and the other towns out there. I mean, they were being slammed. Well, the town that we was about to head to next, well, let's just say when we was driving back to Highway 30, went to the world that's taken to Madrid. Well, when I, when me and my wife just saw those clouds, I was like, you know, doubting. It's like, oh, I don't know about this. I don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, because even, even the fact that it was getting dark, I mean, I mean, the fact that the weather was, I mean, you seen that funnel crowd right in front of you while you're just driving towards it. To, it was crazy. And, yeah, it was. And I guess... The town I was in, I guess there was a rotation that tornado some, a tornado or vortex of what they call it, and it was right on us, like right there. And I was just driving out of town, trying to get out of the town as I can to get away from the storm. Like I was trying to dodge it in a way. Mm -hmm. And then when we head to the town called Woodward, um, the clouds are still warning, in, the funnel clouds still there. I was like. It's like, we can't get out of this here. Cyclones all around us. Cyclones are just all around us. I mean, the, the way that we have said meso, like, everywhere are in this area. And, uh, like, the meso storms, like, the meso cyclones, like, the funnel clouds are detect, like, the wall clouds, like, the shelf clouds. I mean, that's what they detect right there. Um, so... The lightning storm is crazy. The lightning, oh, yeah, definitely crazy. Um... When we went to the other highway out there, uh, I think it's like a four lane, I think. Oh, I don't know what they call it. Like it's, you go two from the straight and then two in the back. And, 141? Yeah, 141. And going wide to Perry, I mean, at first, we were just seeing some of those front of cars trying to, trying to slip right there, but it seemed to be okay for a while. And then when we was just there for a while, like, the front of cars started coming in. I mean... In a way, there was just mostly on the other side of Perry, as I noticed. Um, so it kind of wasn't really going inside of Perry, but the thunderstorm itself, well, that was another story. Being there for a while and hearing that big, huge boom. I mean, something like I heard before, like a few years ago when I was outside um, taking pictures and hearing that lightning that went struck like less than a mile away from me, like, Probably even a half a mile, less than a half mile away from me. But this one sounded very close. Just like the one I have heard a few years ago. I mean, it was louder than a shotgun. I mean, very loud. I mean, really intense. And 
the rain was going harder, the thunderstorms were just going more intense. Um, so when we left Apelli, um, we're just heading near to Whippy, and well, it was pretty calm around there, but other places wasn't. Like you just seen the lightning, different areas of location. It looked like balls of lightning. Balls of lightning. I mean, so you can see the like the funnel clouds within it, the, out there in the nighttime. How dark it is. I mean, it's like being in a movie and just seeing how crazy it is. Um, especially when we drive past Pear, um, Whippy and then you go into back to Highway Thirty again. I mean, it's like an hour, like an hour, hour too later, and this stuff is still going on. And I say like an hour and maybe an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, around there. And right when we're going to Highway 30, I'm just going directly to that storm out there where it's just showing so much lightning and the funnel's like over out there. And I'm like, I don't know how we're going to get through this one. We just missed all the hail. <laughs> oh, yeah, we missed all the hail. Thank goodness. Um, but the problem was when we just kept going closer, went past Beaver, went past Ogden, then it starts. Then we were all in the funnel that itself. That was crazy. Yeah. And from what my wife saw. And the kids. And the kids saw was something different. Like something that I have not have faced while even driving. I've never seen that in my life. Like done something with what? Like it looked like electricity. But I've never... I've never seen or heard of an electric tornado because it was like thin, like the shape of like a water tornado, I think, or one of those water spout tornadoes. And, um, but the thing is, it was like a weird blue with like different colors of green. It looked like on the inside of the tornado. And it looked like there was like electric bolts, like just shooting through this tornado. But it didn't look like it was like on the ground. It looked like it was hovering over the ground. And it just looked like electric was just going everywhere. And then it looked like there was like just um, lightning bolts just kind of shooting sideways out of this like electric current tornado. I've never seen it before, like ever in my life. I've never even heard of them. I don't know if it just, I, I don't know. And it was getting closer and closer. And it even started shaking the truck and everything. No, it was, I mean, I was like trying to drive and the truck's like shaking a bit. It's like- out because they saw it. I was, I, don't, I didn't know what I was thinking. I was freaking out because I was just driving myself. I, like, I didn't want to get anyone endangered. And like it's nighttime and you're trying to figure out what to do here? I mean, that was like the weirdest, creepiest thing I've ever seen for weather. I mean, daytime is something else, but nighttime, seeing this stuff going on, I mean, just how freaky it is. I mean, the past few months we have been chasing like the t t wall crowds and thunder, um, thunder crowds and the shelf clouds lately. I mean, but something on nighttime and you don't know what's going to hit you. Uh, well, makes us, makes us a bit helpless in a way, but luckily we made it out there and I don't, she's don't know. I don't know how close the damn thing was, but it looked like to me, it was only like a mile away. I mean, it was really close. It felt like, I mean, it could have been like some fear kicking in or something, but to me, it only looked like a mile away. And then all of a sudden, like I turned back around and it was gone, I felt like, but all of a sudden, like past all these trees and this like deep, deep hills, it looked like it was like way out there. And like, oh, this whole lightning show was just going on again. And then boom, there was like these balls of lightning again. Because before I saw it, I was seeing these big, huge balls of lightning that I've never seen before either. And some of them even looked like fireballs. 
and there was like these red glows in the damn sky that I've never seen. There was like three of them. I've never seen this stuff before. It's like phenomenons. I, I don't even, I was in shock. I've never seen this kind of stuff with the weather. And I've been like a weather freak for a very long time. I love taking pictures of it. I love anything to do with nature, but I've never seen any like this before. Ever. And when it's like driving out of Boone and just like going past it, I mean, I know you were saying some stuff and I was like, uh, what's going on here? I'm like, I was just driving trying to figure out what the heck is going on out there. I mean, I mean, it sure. was intense. Like, I had not even been through something like this before, especially driving. I mean, probably like I dealt with some storms kind of like a little bit weak, but nothing like this. I mean, I've been through some nasty storms. This is probably the most nastiest I've been through. And just driving through it out in the Highway 30, and just trying to trying to make it home. And when we finally started to, the wind got harder again. And I didn't know what was going on. But and then when I was able to stop it away from the vehicles, I looked at the sky a bit. And I only seen the front of it just like right behind us. And I was like, Shh. I was like, whew, I think we got time. And we went made it back home. And... Got them to go back in the apartment. I made sure I was going to park out there. I mean, of course, I lost my phone, so. But, yeah. But in a way, it was an interesting experience. I mean, crazy, scary, whatever you call it. I mean, something that's, like, mind-blowing. I'm pretty sure if you were talking to people from Des Moines or people from Ames or Ankeny uh, about these kind of storms, they'd probably would tell you something like how it looked like out there. Or maybe the people ask me, drove out there and seen this shit. I mean, it was like quite a little bit a lot of people drove around there. I mean, some people are just moving away from there because, well, um, Iowa State University um, canceled the um, game because the the weather going on. Um, there was a case... Because of thunder, or lightning, I mean, sorry. Because of lightning. And someone took a photo of like the, 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 the supercell itself right at the university area well, there's like just a bunch of people just sitting out there waiting for the game. And pretty intense. This storm was like really going on. I mean, it's supposed to be storming tonight and raining tonight. I guess like in all week, it's supposed to be like raining or storming and stuff like that. I don't know, guys. Sunday might be coming. If you see more videos, might be posting some more later in the future if anything's going on for the next week or so. I don't know yet, so if it's nighttime, we can't really get much of the footage of it. But hey, you know what? This is just my and my wife's experience about what we saw out there last night and how really intense it was. I mean, well, I mean, I never experienced anything like this. I mean, how crazy it was. Especially with some of these funnel clouds the past few months. I mean, the ones in Boone, like that, the white crowd that was just moving in. If you've seen that, that one video that had those photos of it, of that, um, apparently it's called CBS, calls it a wool crowd. Oh, you mean those wool crowds are just like, like a side, sideways tornado side, cyclone? No, because that actually had some, like, funnel between it. Like, this is a funnel with it. The rotations around it. I was out there. My wife was out there. We were outside of this stuff. Seeing through that kind of stuff. That is not no war crowd, they say. Actually, to some other weather experts, it's a wall and shelf cloud and funnel crowd all at the same time. So what does that tell you, Dale? And this one was in June 18th. And just a few days before that, oh, the my mind going through that one cloud in that morning. I mean, with the with that funnel coming by, that that supercell funnel, 
and having the clouds like look like it was just welcoming it to come through. I mean, the things I have experienced this past few months, it's literally crazy. It makes me looking forward for what's going to happen next summer when that happens because sadly summer is going to be ending soon. And you know what? I'm looking forward for the next summer, next spring, to see what's going to happen then. It's going to be seeing what kind of excitement of the storms. I was able to finally um, upload the pictures of the ones I saw last year. Me and my wife were there in Grand Junction of those, that, that funnel car that hit. And we might have, I had some footage, like there was a little bit of a, like a little bump. Could have been a tornado trying to form. But I, some of the videos I have and stuff like that look like there were some tornadoes trying to form out there. Like the one video of, I think it was in June 30th, um, with that one funnel was coming by. I don't know if I said it was a wall crowd or something. I, I got wrong, I'm pretty sure. But there was that, like, this bump side of it, like, rotating, like, atop of me. I was like, yeah, I'm going inside here. Because I'm not going to be, like, sucked up or whatever it was. So, yeah, I was not going to take the risk that much. But, yeah, it was just crazy. I mean, that day was even crazy. Because you got, like, multi-storms out there. You had those wall crowds showing up. The wall crowds showing up. You had, like, funnel crowds showing up. I mean, all you that day, it was, like, when it was at, like, near Grand Junction. was watching that storm out there at the time. Um... It was just literally intense. I mean, the weather was just so insane. I mean, this past couple months. But yesterday, last night, wow. Just wow. I don't know what the weather was going to be like tonight. Hopefully it was not going to be like what happened last night. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. But... This is our storm story. So, if you enjoy or what your comments or whatever you want to say of if you have experienced anything like that or if you want to imagine what this kind of storm it is, believe me, it's intense. <laughs>